I'm not a fan. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous about opening this package. Just open the package, you Don't be so rude, what are you talking about? You've gotta start reviewing some other things other than electric scooters, you know. Give me a break here. Come on, chaps, no need to fight. Who are you? Let's get on with it, tally ho! Come on, Alright, God, shut up, shut up the lot of you. Let's just get on with it. Alright. All right. How many bloody boxes? Fees. Hey. Last time I rode an electric unicycle, I yep. didn't do too well, did I? Well, you didn't do too badly as well. I didn't. And if you're gonna fall down, pick it up. <laughs> you are a massive supporter of electric unicycles, and I'm a big sport of electric scooters. I think they're the best. He thinks they're the best. I think they're the best. Well, I think electric scooters are the best. Well, you know what? We're not gonna have a fight about no. it, right? <laughs> Uh, no, each to their own, but there is a bit yeah. of a steeper learning curve with these bad boys, right? Yes, they yes. are, they are. How long do you think it'll take someone to learn to ride this? Um, probably say about an hour, an hour and a half, okay. to get all the basics right. So today, we're going to compare the electric scooter versus the electric unicycle, and I've gone with the Xiaomi M365 because it's like an entry-level scooter, yeah. and am I right to say that's kind of like an entry-level electric unicycle? Yes, so I would probably say yes, this is definitely uh, yeah. the entry-level. So let's just get on with it. Let's get on with it. Or we could sunbathe. I think I'm just going to sunbathe. <laughs> I don't think I need to sunbathe though. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> nice. Please decelerate. <laughs> Please decelerate. <laughs> that was awesome. How, how did we do in the hill test? Uh, I think it's safe to say that the electric unicycle monowheel Yeah, smashed it Smashed it yeah, yeah, easily It smashed it, that scooter really struggled So we're definitely going to give the win Two. to the electric unicycle Number one, Number one Next test <laughs> Oh my god, stay there, stay there No, that's it. Okay. Wow. Wow. That was pretty close. Yeah. I was. I was um, really surprised how well the the electric unicycle braked. I thought yeah. the braking distance would have been much longer, but it's pretty comparable, I reckon. Yeah. The more powerful the motor in the electric unicycle, yeah, the more it's obviously going to brake. This because it uses a motor brake, right? Uh, exactly. So essentially, what it does is when you lean backwards, the motor is trying to reverse on itself and is trying to go backwards. And it's obviously, the more powerful it is, and the more it can kind of you know start winding yeah. on itself and, and, and go backwards. So um, it can be better. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah. So this is my first time riding this, so I could probably okay. do better. <laughs> Okay, ready. Acceleration test. Here we go. In three, two, one. Let's go. Oh my god. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, acceleration test. Take two. In three, two, one. Let's go. Come on, Jami, baby. Come on, Jami. No. God. Please, Louise. Slow it down. Okay, so Afiz nailed it again. 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 So, so <laughs> it's quite clear between these two uh, vehicles, um, the the unicycle wins. Yeah, the electric unicycle. You, you just think it's superior overall, right? I, I think if you look at it, the overall package, it's smaller, longer range, 
better acceleration and it's more fun okay, and one more thing yeah. if you guys can notice that I've got two hands well almost two hands free and he's uh, struggling he's struggling <laughs> yeah that's true yeah so what I'm gonna do now learn I'll is learn. learn this bloody thing and I will teach him and yeah. see if it can replace my electric scooter fascination we'll see wait hold on a feast a feast yeah. hold on yeah. what, what what do you reckon of electric scooters then um Go on, be honest. Be honest. I think electric scooters, because they are easier to learn. Um, however, I think they're a little bit boring. Uh <laughs> Gee, thanks. <laughs> Gee. <laughs> I take that personally. See you later. <laughs> Everyone's got the preference. Everyone's got a preference. Not everybody can learn to ride an electric unicycle um, yeah. or monowheel. Or electric uh, skateboard. Or electric for that skateboard for that matter. Or even one wheel as well. One wheel. Um, yeah, everyone's got the preference. See, I can't brake, right? See, I've got. I'm using I this left this. hand, and I can't brake. Yeah, I think this if, is actually more safer. There's no such thing as a perfect anything in life, and everything's got its pros and cons. Yes. E scooters are much more accessible yep. than a skateboard or that or yep. the electric unicycle. Yep. Um, but yeah, I bet you have a lot of fun. They go fast, they've got the range. Yes. So, you know, if you can, why not get a few different types and mix it up, which is, I guess, what I'm doing. Finally, God, this is hard. I'm getting out of my comfort zone a feast. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Yes, you should. Yeah. Oh, should we go to the gym? There's a gym here. Alright, let's go to the gym. Alright, we're gonna go to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Da -da, Iron Man! <laughs> okay, we found like a really dodgy piece of kind of gravelly grass terrain. Um, Afis, do you go off-road on your electric unicycle often? I do, actually. Do you? Yeah, yeah. Because you can ride both and I can't, mm -hmm. I think you're going to do this test and and be objective <laughs> and say which you thought was the smoother ride. I will be objective. The Xiaomi doesn't have suspension. <laughs> so I think we all know it's going to win again. All right, well done, Afis. How was it? It was disastrous. Okay, <laughs> next. On the grass, the, the EUC, electric unicycle, is a little bit better. Whereas with the, uh, with the scooter, it's pretty hard. Um, Favoritism. No. Nah. Favoritism. It's the truth. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> He's a liar. Don't listen to a word he says. Just met this lovely lady called Carly in the park, who was doing an amazing workout, by the way. Thank you. Well done. Need to be that. And this is the lamest test you could possibly imagine, but this is which one's cooler. I'm not a fan. I, I have to say, the scooter. I'm I'm inclined to say the scooter. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm ready. This is the long, lonely part of the video where I try and learn how to ride that. It's a bit like when Frodo had to throw the ring into Mordor. He went on this big, long journey of self-discovery. It's a little bit like that. Let's go. Okay, this is the place. Now Ben, my apprentice, are you ready to join me on the dark side of electric vehicles? No, I can't! <laughs> no. Leave your crappy electric scooter behind and we can take over the universe! But I love electric scooters! <laughs> no. But you might get a few more subscribers. I'm ready. Okay, 
Okay, so here we go. Vlogging whilst learning to ride this thing isn't the best, oh, isn't the best idea in the world, but I want to kind of give you my impressions of this whilst learning to ride it. Ugh. I think the best thing to do is just bloody throw yourself at it. I've kind of got it. Tell you what, electric scooters are a lot easier. How'd you turn? <sighs> okay, so, so far, so okay. I feel like I had some beginner's look to start with. I was kind of balancing and doing all right. But then now it seems to have got a little bit more difficult for some reason. Put the camera away, do another 10 minutes, and then check back in with you and see how we do. I'll tell you what, it's a workout. Bloody hell. See what I mean? I also seem to be doing these zombie hands. Okay. A few inches later. Okay guys, so I'm half an hour into my journey to electric scooter, electric unicycle mastery. Um, I'm still a long way off, but I have to say, I do feel very comfortable going in a straight line, which is a result. Turning, or however, is a different kettle of fish. Yeah. Oh. That corner, that corner gets me every time. I have to say, I'm really enjoying it because it takes like a, an element of skill that's not required from an electric scooter. Do you know what I mean? Electric scooter, pretty much anyone can jump on it and away you go and it's still a lot of fun. Whereas this requires like a Jedi focus and training in order to master it. So it's a little bit more rewarding than electric scooter. That's quite a good way of putting it. Let's go left here. Okay, now. Now, what I usually do in my reviews is take the scooter or the contraption into town on a commute, but because I'm a, like a rolling death trap at the moment, I don't think that's going to happen. So um, I'll check back to you later. Okay guys, that was the King Song 14D electric unicycle versus the Xiaomi M365 electric scooter. Whew, that was a mouthful. Question is, have I been converted to the dark side of electric unicycles? Well, the answer is... No. No, I haven't. But that's purely a personal preference thing. It's like comparing apples with potatoes or whatever the saying is, apples and oranges. But I have to say, I am very impressed. Ugh, oh. Tell you what, she's not like. Literally, as you saw in the test, hands down, this thing beats the Xiaomi M365 and probably most other scooters in nearly all aspects. Not only that, it's smaller and more mobile and that's something I've really enjoyed, like popping into shops and not be like, oh, rolling my scooter in and feeling kind of awkward and security guards looking at me. So if you want to be a little bit more portable, then these are definitely the way to go. It's just a, like a really remarkable piece of engineering and it's built like a tank. There's no way I could have thrown the Xiaomi around the way that this thing has been thrown around and it survived. So that's definitely a huge plus about electric unicycles is they seem to be built to last, which um, unfortunately most electric scooters aren't. And, and it really is far more futuristic, like going from this back onto an electric scooter feels like stepping into the Stone Age, which is weird. You know, if it wasn't for the steep learning curve, I have no doubt that these would be the most popular electric rideable out there. Oh, and speaking of technology, check this out. Bring the ride. Here. It's only got four Bluetooth speakers built in and it goes pretty loud. Look at those cool lights. I mean, it's amazing. Okay, so on that note, what is your preferred choice of personal electric transportation? Is it electric unicycles, electric scooter, electric skateboard, electric one wheel, electric roller skates, electric whatever? Please let me know because, um, yeah, this is kind of me getting out my comfort zone of reviewing electric scooters and getting onto crazy things like that. Big thanks to eWheels for sponsoring this video. And if you're new here, why not subscribe, give me a like and all that jazz, and we'll see you in the next one.